Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is the um, a video where I'm going to actually do a, a few videos to show you some of the tips and tricks on speeding up your computer. What exactly can you do if you find your computer has gone very slow and or slower than it was before and you'd like to maybe get it going faster. First of all, avoid all the programs that say, hey, we're going to clean up that PC and make it faster. They don't work. The software, there's no software that will make your computer faster. Actually, most of the time, it even slows it down because you're just adding more uh, crappy software on your computer. The first thing that will make your PC faster most of the time is a reinstall of Windows. Why? Because as you use your PC, one of the biggest problems over the you know years that you might be using your PC without ever reinstalling Windows is that Windows itself gets bigger. Everything gets bloated at some point, and it becomes inefficient in doing what it has to do. Plus, you know, you install software, you install all sorts of things. Uh, over time, you uninstall, but even uninstalling software doesn't uninstall everything. There's traces left behind. So the first thing that I think is the most important in getting your computer uh, up to speed is to reinstall Windows. And to do so, well, you can use, there's some computers have a recovery option within the software. So you can actually use that recovery option. Uh, you can, of course, go to your settings. And in the settings, update and security, uh, you will have an option in the uh, backup, um, uh, recovery, sorry, uh, option. You'll have reset this PC in the recovery tab. So you can click get started, reset this PC, and have your PC start from scratch using this and eliminating everything. Um, when I say reinstall Windows, uh, it's time to, you know, get rid of everything and start fresh, just like if you purchased a new PC. The um, other place where you can go to is uh, by going to the Windows 10 download page, uh, where you can actually create a um, image or you know a bootable device that you're uh, going to use to do an external uh, install if you want. You can, uh, of course, click the download the uh, media creation tool and reinstall from there. Now, remember, if you use one of these tools, you will be actually updated to the latest version of Windows. That tool is the October 2020 update, so it's important to know that. Um, and here you can download the image. You can you know, create a DVD or you can actually uh, do a, um, a USB thumb drive that you can use to upgrade your system. If, you know, uh, for example, the um, if you go into the settings and go into the recovery and you uh, reset the PC and it doesn't work, well, you can actually do it with the tool that will, of course, most of the time that will work if your um, recovery options don't work within your PC. Even the image, internal image of your computer, maybe this is something that is not going to work. Well, if it doesn't, you have the ability to download Windows here. Um, don't worry about the key, the license key. Um, Windows 10, what it does is it actually creates a digital license. So once you actually reinstall Windows, usually it will see that it's already been activated on that machine. As long as you download the same version of Windows, that's the only thing that's important because you cannot download the Pro version if you're on the home version. That's not going to work. Um, it needs a proper license key. So here, when you actually use the uh, cre media creation tool, what you'll have is you'll have to accept the uh, you know terms of agreement. And then you have, of course, the ability to download Windows 10, create an image, and reinstall. If you are wondering how to reinstall Windows, I already have a series of videos explaining to you using uh, media the media creation tool um, how to follow the steps. Windows 10 is so easy to install that most people 
And, you know, I know a lot of people will say, well, that's way too much for me. I'm not going to do that. Actually, you should because it's super easy uh, today to install Windows by yourself. So you, you, you will use the Create Installation Media and then click Next. Choose the language. It's usually uh, the correct version by default. And of course, here you'll do either a USB flash drive. You need at least a one, uh, eight gigabyte drive, and or you can download the ISO file or ISO file for uh, download to um, either make a DVD later or you know um, whatever option you want to use. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.